Good morning, everyone. It's Lorez, your favorite endoscopy technician. I am at work getting my room ready and getting set up. I just wanted to address a few questions that I was asked. I'm going to go ahead and turn this around because I do need to get my day started. Um, so, someone had asked me about... Let me make sure my volume is good. But someone had asked me about... Um, the procedures that I do and um, I do colonoscopies and upper endoscopies um, yes yeah, so everyone needs to get a colonoscopy colorectal cancer screening and male and female some people are under the misconception that only men need colonoscopies but that is not true um, the starting age for a colonoscopy is now 45, but it's always been 45 for African Americans because, of course, um, black folks get everything before everybody else, and we get it 10 times as worse. So the guidelines have changed um, to 45. Uh, unless you have a family history, of colon cancer or colon polyps. And polyps are just little small, well, they're growths in the colon that can turn to cancer. So you have two different types of tissue. You have the adenoma tissue, which is uh, precancerous, and then you have the hyperplastic, which is not precancerous, but it is still removed. So yes, everyone should have a colonoscopy. Now, you have to prep for it the day before, which means you have to drink um, a prep that does not taste well at all. Um, and the clear liquid diet uh, is instructed to be done the day before your procedure. Um, for an upper endoscopy, you don't have to do any prepping. There's just nothing by mouth after midnight. Um, your uh, physician should prepare you for what to expect once you arrive for your procedure. You'll have anesthesia, um, probably a tech in the room, you know, like myself, and the physician that will be actually performing that uh, colonoscopy or your upper endoscopy. And the uh, um, determining factor of what... Um, you receive as far as sedation has a lot to do with your insurance. So you may get propofol or you may not get propofol. So that depends. Um, a CRNA or an anesthesiologist can um, administer whatever you will be receiving. Um, what else? I think that was it as far as the question. So if you just need, you know, to know a good place to go, um, I don't have any recommendations other than the places that I've worked and the place that I currently work. But you can inbox me privately for that information. Um, I think that's about it. So please, 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 colorectal cancer screening saves lives. And you can save your own life by having a um, colonoscopy. And I think that's it for the day. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to um, like, subscribe, and share if you want. Thank you.